this video will take you through on how you can transfer your wallet from Binance to Bybit using your smartphone or your PC. A lot of people find it difficult to make these simple transactions. Watch this video till the end as you see how it works, how you can simply transfer your wallet from Binance to Bybit using your smartphone or your PC. Stay tuned as you see how it works. So when your Bybit account is open, you just scroll down to this place and uh, you can see this place I just made, I just clicked on which is shown in assets. Okay. And uh, you can see, first of all, we have about four USDT on the account. I want to deposit, you want to send money to your Bybit account from your Binance. So you click on deposit. Okay. Click on deposit. Once you've clicked on deposit, you uh, select the crypto you want to send. If you want to send USDT, you click on USDT. Okay, so you click on USDT, and here you're going to find you're going to ask you the um at the different network you want to use. If you want to use TRC20, you can see this is the different networks you want to use. This is very, very important. There are so many networks you can use, but first of all, let's go straight to Binance to do some little things. So you go on Binance. Once you're Binance, it is almost the same process here. You click on wallet also. Now, when you click on wallet, you want to send money. Your money could be on funding and it can be also on spots. Now, if your money is on spots, you find out that it is here, but there's no money on spots. So if you click on funding, you can find that the USDT you want to send is on funding. Now, we are about to send 13 USDT or 13.4 USDT to your um, Bybit account. So on this place, you're going to click on withdraw okay you click on withdraw because you are um, withdrawing out of binance and you are sending it to bybit so you click on um 13 usdt click on usdt okay you can you can withdraw any amount but the reason why yeah, you can withdraw any crypto with the same method but the reason why we are doing usdt is that it is um sometimes very easy and very fast so you can withdraw via crypto network and you can withdraw via um phone or id now, crypto network is only this first one is when you are sending to another wallet. Okay, when you are sending to another wallet, you can withdraw to trust wallets, different wallets. But if you are withdrawing to another Binance account, you can use this method. Okay, so we are withdrawing to buy B2, we are using the first method. Okay, so you just click on via crypto address wallet. Now, different address have different, um, uh, different address has different um, fees. Okay, so let us, uh, you are going to go back to Bybit now and copy your Bybit USDT address. Okay, you are going to come and paste it on that place. Okay, so let's go straight to Bybit. So back to Bybit, these are so many addresses. You have to, this is an address, you select any one you want. So I'm going to just choose TRC20. Okay, so when you choose TRC20, you can see this is your wallet address in which you are going to copy. So you just copy your wallet address from here. You have copied it successfully once you make sure you copy it this is where i clicked okay you copy it successfully and um, go back to your binance back to binance you just um paste the address you have copied on this place you can see once you have pasted it here then you click on network remember it is a troc20 wallet we just copied so you scroll down make sure you click on troc20 okay make sure you click on troc20 you can see here, uh, TRC20, you click on TRC20 because it is the same address as that of Binance, okay? So you can see that different address have different um, different uh, fees. You can see the fee of TRC20 is 1 USDT. The fee of Tezos is 1 USDT. The, the fee of Binance Smart Chain, um, BNB uh, Smart Chain is BEP20 is 0.29 usdt so which means uh this one is even much more better for us so it's better we are using a uh, bnb smart chain so you go and find if you find if you see a bnb smart chain address so that your transfer fee will be a little lesser so back here you are going to select bsc bep20 you can see it here bep20 it is we are selecting it because at, at this point the transfer charges are low okay so you can you can be high tomorrow you will just have to check it out so i'm just going to copy it you can find it here come down here to copy okay so you copy successfully and you go back to your binance you have changed the network 
make sure that you know that you have changed the network to be uh, EP20. You also go there to change to be EP20. Okay. Back to this area, you click on USDT again. Okay. Once you click on USDT, you want to withdraw. Click on withdraw, and you click on USDT, and you click on via crypto network. So you are going to long press your new detail and then you click on this place written as network and you select BEP20 because this is the one we just selected. Okay, it is the same thing as the other one. So you click on BEP20 and you click on confirm. Okay, you can see click on confirm. We are choosing it because the fees are very, very low. Okay, so you click on confirm. When you click on confirm, you uh, click on maximum everything. You are I'm tra I'm transferring everything. Okay. So if you want to click, if you want to transfer everything, you click on maximum. If you want to transfer a uh, little amount, you can go back and select uh, 10. Because you can see the minimum you can you can send is 10 USDT. You can see the minimum, minimum is 10. So you can send 11. You can type 11. You can type 12. Okay. But no more than what you have. So I'm transferring everything. I click on maximum. And it's showing you that they are going to withdraw it from your funding wallet. If your if your um asset is on your spot wallet, you can change it to spot. Okay, so you click on withdraw. Click on withdrawal. So when you click on withdrawal, you'll be brought to this place and you click on confirm. Confirm is below. Ensure the network is correct. So go and check it again and you click on confirm. So once you click on confirm, and uh, you can see that your account will be uh, immediately debited or you will be asked to put in some verification details and all of that and once you have done that it will be successful so just wait for some few minutes so you go and check your co um, email to see if you get a code so you click on get code you can get the code to your email but if you want to get it to your phone number you can switch to another verification method so that you get it to your phone number so you can uh, click on phone number and once you have done that you click on get code okay click on get code and you click on get code because it is very easy code have been sent to my my phone inbox i'll just go check it so you type in the code you have gotten and you click on submit okay when you click on submit you will find that it uh it will be successful in few minutes you just find that it has um it is going to be successful okay so you just wait for some little time so after a few minutes this is what you're going to find withdrawal processing and you can see that uh you will find the usdt have been sent out of your binance account to your um, bybit account so you just wait uh, you can view history to see Okay, you can view history to see it properly. Okay, uh, this is exactly how where you find it processing over here. All right, processing here. Okay, so we'll just allow a few minutes, you come back and you see it's completed. So after a few minutes, you find out that it is showing completed. So you have to go back to your Bybit account to check if your 13 USDT is now on your Bybit. So this is Bybit. We'll just scroll down to this place and you find, go and click on assets and you find that your account has been credited. You can see it is now 18.10 USDT and you have successfully sent money to your Bybit account. Now you can use this money to trade, to buy um, USDT, and to, you can use to buy any um, asset and of course you can also transfer it. If you want to transfer the money to your spot account, Okay, this is this one is in your funding. If you want to transfer to your sports account, you click on transfer. And when you click on transfer, you are going to just click on the funding will be up, sports account will be down. Okay. Click on sports. Then you select the uh, the crypto you want to transfer. This is BTC, but you want to transfer USDT. So you select USDT. Then you click on maximum, you are transferring everything. You click on confirm, which is um, down below. So you can be using it to buy crypto. So when you click on, you see that it is um, it's going to be successful in few minutes. So you just wait for it to load, transfer successfully. So you uh, refresh and you find out that all your money is now on spot account and you can use it to buy anything you want to buy. If you want to sell it back, you want to sell back your money, 
you want to sell it back to um you want to sell it back to your bank account you click on transfer you must transfer it back to funding okay you click on transfer you select um sports here change it to sports okay change it to sport account which is uh, down let me look for it well very well so you select this place as usdt first of all okay and then you come up here and select make sure your sport account is here and then you can move everything back to your um funding account as zero fees okay zero fees you click on confirm and all of that you will be able to sell it back to your bank account but if you want to trade with it you just leave it there so that will be the end of this tutorial if you want to like this video subscribe to our channel turn on your notifications so you'll be notified when videos like this have been released have a wonderful day and see you in the next one